Jedi fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host, Zelot, and we are here today doing another new series. Uh, it's going to be probably a fairly short series. I'm still doing the Epsilon Row one. Uh, I'm just slowly tinkering on that one and trying to f figure out what my next options are. In the meantime, they came out with a arid start for the uh, default random. And I think we want to try that. So let's do that right now. We're going to do, uh, uh, so we're going to do the alpha eight arid start. That's what I called it. Uh, C20, I found this one here that looks pretty good. The gra What I look for is fairly low atmospheric density, not really over one. And then, um, Gravity, as long as it's not too much over one or one, around one or lower than is good. Uh, max temp, um, 120 should be fine. I should be able to get enough going to um, be able to mitigate that with like water and stuff. I think there's water on the planet, so... I think we're going to give this a shot. Uh, I'm going to change this, though, to... Let's just select it to hard. <clears throat> That's all fine. That's all fine. Uh, That's fine. What we're actually looking for is just to increase the crafter speed. You know what? I'm just going to do that to fast and fast. Because we want to we wanna do the do this a little bit quicker. I mean, I guess I could do bigger ore deposits too. Still leaves everything else the hard settings. Um, do I need to? You know what? Let, let's do it just to speed it up a bit. There we go. The uh, player progression doesn't really matter. You'll see why it's not. It's It doesn't I don't really care if it's on slow. It's it doesn't usually affect my gameplay that much. Okay, uh, let's go with that. Let's go with that. So all the hard settings for life stats, hard settings for player stats. Uh, lots of ore, difficult enemies, fast construction. You know what? I'm going to make it so that we can just spawn it right on wherever. We don't need a pad to spawn it on. And then I'm going to I'm going to try that. I haven't really done that yet. I've I've always set that to true. So, we'll we'll see what that's like. Um I mean, I'm sure it's fine, right? I, I don't need to make a pad. I think the, the reason why I want to do that is because I don't necessarily want to make a pad in the starter planet, so to speak, you know? Anyway, uh, let's go with this. And so it's going to be custom now. It's called Loli because of the seed. <laughs> Loli. Uh, so here we go. Arid start on semi-hard. Hard survival, sort of. Uh, I mean, the constructor speed helps a, 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 a smidge at the beginning with your survival. Yes, I agree it does. But <clears throat> later on, basically after the first day for me, the, the, the uh, constructor speed, all that does is just cause the game to slow down and be grindy. It doesn't make it any harder, so... Uh, I just set it to fast when I'm playing on my own playthroughs. Okay, so we've got, looks like a radiated biome or like a oasis over there. We've got, what I'm looking for is wrecks. The, are those wrecks over there? Oh, there's a wreck over here. There's a wreckage over there and a wreckage over here. Okay. Wreckage everywhere. Good, 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 good. Small wreckage. <clears throat> okay, so you can see we're crashing down into a starter biome. And, oh, it's got those lizards. Those are kind of what people were familiar with on Akua back in the day. 
So I believe this now gives us the Robson protocol, which we're going to do. Actually, I know you're thinking, are you crazy? That's going to cripple you off the bat. Well, it's yes and no. Um, I know I don't start with a lot of oxygen here, and all I get is that one stupid... Oh, let's do that again then, because it didn't register. There we go. Okay, so... Um, let's see where we are. We need to actually find... Well, we just need to wait for the Robson Protocol to uh, catch up here and tell us where to go. <laughs> In the meantime, let's run around and pick stuff. And we can also... Now, keep in mind, if I use up my stamina, that means my food, too. And there we go. Open log files. Oops, and obviously I'm on the wrong thing. No, I'm on the right thing. Come on. There we go. Uh, so, open up the PDA. So, let's do that. And we're supposed to look at the personal log file. Okay. Okay. So, let's continue to gather resources here while it uh, catches up with us. Now, I don't want to run too much because that'll... Woo, that scared me. Wow, did they, like, spawn on me? I think they did. Whew. Whew. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, do a rock drill here. You can see this eats up stamina, which then consumes my food to replenish my stamina. So keep that in mind. The less stamina you use, the better. So we got to find the signal source. It is... Way over there. Okay, so let's just start heading over there. Uh, we've got to, like, keep in mind that we could, like, suffocate and um, die of heat stroke or, or something like that if it gets too hot, which it looks like it is. So we're going we're gonna to stay fairly close to the water here as we run. I, w I do want to get these rocks and stuff, but... I mean, really, I need to get the, the wreckage ASAP. And look at this. We're already getting hot. Okay. So we're already getting hot. I need to get as many of these rocks as possible. Because I will be able to make um, a portable heater cooler thingy. Okay. So let's... I might need to go into the water. Yeah, we're getting we're getting it up into the dangerous zone. So we'll just jump into here really quick. Oh, and I am out of stamina. So that is something that can kill you in this game at the start, is running out of stamina. Uh, I mean, I could go down there and start picking stuff, I guess. But I need ore to make stuff with. And this is ore. So, rock drill. Although I think I need iron and copper for the heater, which means I'd need a lot of stone. So I'm going to be kind of stuck to the shore by the look of it here, until I get a, one of those portable heaters going. Uh, and I also got to get an oxygen generator going right away. And look at that, I'm already overheating. Wow. Okay. So this is super tough. Super tough. Uh, let's get some food going. Yeah. That's crazy. Okay. Well, we... This is going to be super hard then if I can't get to the wreckage without overheating. So I just got to stay to the shore. Okay, so there's some copper. Doesn't matter, I don't have a drill. I got to get stuff like this. 
Oops. I mean, I wouldn't mind finding some copper rocks and stuff, but you can see how quickly my body temperature is like flying up. I just got to cool off for a second. Yeah, this is going to be super difficult. I don't have a lot of food or oxygen now. I, I might die. This is uh, not looking too good for me here. The, the temperature is really a killer for me here. This is I'm not sure how I'm going to defeat the temperature. I've got to get around here and get as close as possible using the water to cool myself. Yeah. Okay, so we got to start using up some of this oxygen here. Yeah, I, I, I have a feeling I'm going to die. Okay, we've got to keep some in reserve. So i got to get to that wreckage bad, like really badly. So let's jetpack. You can get, get some speed going when you jetpack. <clears throat> you can cover more distance without eating, consuming so much stamina and oxygen. It's like, <clears throat> it's like super running. Oh, it's way in there, really, by, by a hazardous biome. Wow. Okay. I need that constructor, though, bad. I don't know how I'm going to do this. It's way up there. I'm going to overheat. Yeah, this is crazy. I might have to wait till night. Yeah, I'm gonna have to wait till night. There's no way I can do this. Insane. It's insane. I'll go into the water. And I guess live in the water for a bit. And die in the water, I guess. Because I can't do anything in the water. I can't build stuff. I don't have a constructor. Because <laughs> I robbed some protocol. Jeez. So rough, rough, rough. If I didn't have, if I didn't do the Robson protocol, I'd actually be able to do this. Because I'd be able to make one of those heaters right away, right? Iron copper. Ugh. Crazy. So I, I yeah, I'm going to suffocate before I can get to the constructor. I can't get to any rocks. This is insane. The heat is just... Way too high to do anything with. Um, hmm. Okay, it's not quite balanced yet, I see. <laughs> Four. Uh, yeah, I'm going to suffocate. I, I can't get to that thing. That's crazy. That's crazy. Oh, the temperature is starting to come down. I guess I'll grab as many rocks as I can. Okay, let's see how far we can get. I don't think we're going to get very far. I, I, yeah. This, this one might be a bust. I might not be able to do this on hard mode. And if I... Yeah, I don't want to do that. I'm going to just... Jetpack as far as I can. I might have to go die at the wreckage. I might have to go die at the wreckage. Because look at the temperature already. It's just, it's insane. I'm not sure how to do this. Crazy. Let's actually, I wonder if. The radiated biome is going to be colder. Colder. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to die. We all know I'm going to die. And... No, but I can get radiated too, so that's awesome. 
Yeah. Oh yeah, and it's you know eighty some odd degrees there. Is it is it chilling out? Is it chilling out? Come on. I just gotta find somewhere where it's cooler. Oh, is it getting is it gonna get cooler on me? I'm gonna suffocate before I can get there anyway. I've only got a couple of things. Yeah. I, oh 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 oh. Hang on. Where was that? Where was that? There was a 45 somewhere here. Ugh. Okay, let's take what we have for oxygen left, because we might... I'm going to get a heat stroke pretty soon here. Ugh. Come on, temperature. Really? This is severe. Okay, motorcycle. So now what? We gotta just race back to the water, I guess, really quick. Um, darn, darn it. There it was back there. Somewhere. I just cooled off for a second. Huh. That was trippy. Okay. Um. I need rocks. So I, I cooled off for a second. Let's get these. Let's get this. Let's get this. If I can get enough of the small stones. I can make a drill. Now that I got a motorcycle, we can really cover some ground and actually, you know, get some of these here. Oops. I don't want to jump off my bike again. I want to turn. And we might have to head back to the water. Yeah, we got to head to the water. Ugh. <sighs> Frustrating. It's going to be hard to get uh, oxygen here. Okay, so what did we get? Did we raise a level? Um, I don't think we did, did we? Let's check out the tech tree. <sighs> Miss, is it Miss? Yeah. Okay, so level three. So let's, damn, I'm gonna suffocate? Maybe. Good chance, good chance I'm gonna suffocate here. Let's get some fuel going. Um, oh, I can almost make a drill. Okay, so let's get fuel going anyway. And do I have any food left? No. Okay, so we, you know what? We got to go pick some, um, oh, we're going to suffocate. We're going to suffocate. We're going to suffocate. We're going to suffocate. There's no way we can do this. We just couldn't get the resources quick enough because of the heat keeping us back. I'm going to suffocate. There's no way I got the oxygen to do this. Where the heck? Oh, I'm facing the wrong way. Looks like it's going up that direction, though, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Hey, where's all the frickin' seaweed? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die! 
Okay, so what could I have done differently? What could I have done differently? Uh, where's all the seaweed? Really? Come on. Lots of rocks. Ugh. Should be this direction. Come on. Oh, I don't want to use up too much of my... Come on, I'm going to run out of food, too. Look at that, it's still cooking out. I need one of those heaters. Wow, so Robson Protocol makes it a little bit tough to start because you don't get that that drill right off the bat to be able to maybe smash some rocks and I don't know. You got to make a bike right away and stuff, right? So, okay, so here we go. Now we can go get deeper. We should get some seaweed down here. I'm pretty much at this point uh, guaranteed to die because I don't have the mats to actually... Oh, there, I got level two. Okay. See, I wasn't able to actually go and level at all. I guess what I should have done is maybe just jumped in the water first. I'm not sure now. I'm not sure. Maybe. Jump in the water first. Get level three. Um, and then learn the... So got to get level three. Level three is kind of important. I mean, yeah, player progression, like I say, at the very beginning can, can mean something. And remember, this is the first time I've ever started without a survival constructor on a uh, oxygenless planet and no O2 generator, too. Oh, there, I can make one now. Got to make that. Okay, so I'm starving. That's awesome. Um, that's not good. Can I just eat some of that? <sighs> And indigestion, yeah, nice. Okay, well, I got herbal leaves. Eat some fruit. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we got the oxygen generator. We got to go back and get uh, fuel for it. <sighs> we got to get the unlock the portable heater cooler. So, can we make another one? No. I need two more copper. Dang. Maybe the crushed stone. Maybe from the... Um, we might be able to. We might be able to. Okay, we got enough food. So let's head back. Where is it now? Where is it now? There it is. Okay. Let's try heading back. We'll just pick some of these on the way. I think I screwed myself. I didn't get oxygen going quick enough. Should have just jumped in the water. Just like I made a beeline for the water. Jump in the water. Pick um, a bunch of seaweed. That way I have a ton of food off the bat. Um, smashing what rocks I can, then make a beeline for the wreckage. Okay, we'll see if we can do this. I don't think we can, but we'll see. How's my suit food going? Let's get that going, put that down here. Oh, 
those blue look out trucks and one left to, yeah I'm screwed <clears throat> I'm screwed let's use our stamina right now I don't care now we got enough food I can replenish my my stamina without dying but now we're into a time situation where we gotta get back because we are definitely gonna suffocate this is a guarantee <clears throat> Okay, well, lessons learned. <sighs> it's too bad. That's okay. That's okay. that going so we've got 74 75 seconds we've got no other way to generate oxygen so we're kind of screwed we're um, we're held captive pretty much at this point well let's just sit here and do nothing we'll see how if we can actually survive this, I don't think we can. Look at that. It just went by, f like, wow, the consumption is just insane. Yeah, there's no way we can do this. Yeah, I know. Oh, I'm hungry, am I? <laughs> Jeez. Well, I'm almost, almost dead. Oh, can I make? Let's stop that. Oh, I can make emergency O2? Why didn't I do that? Why didn't I do that? I wish I could have stopped that. Yeah, 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 yeah. We've got... Oh, can we pull this off? Can we pull this off? We can do it, we can do it, we can do it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Holy, I totally forgot we can make O2 from Purify Water with our suit. Whew. Okay, so let's see. It's making it right now. Look at that. Look at that. Nice. Nice. Death averted. <laughs> okay, for now. Actually, that got our... Oxygen count right up again. Okay. Uh, we need copper to get another one of those. So, uh, the temperature is going to start coming down pretty soon. And we're going to need to make a drill and go get mats. So, yeah. What's, what's that got left? 12 minutes left. And that's not doing anything. My suit is cooking that. Yeah, let's put this stuff in there. Uh, we don't need the stone. Because I can... Yeah, actually, that's right. Let's try this. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> well, that didn't account for much. Darn, that takes 50. So I need another 35. Okay. Okay, so that water there, we can turn that into O2. And what it's producing some right now. Okay, so we need to go get more rocks then, I guess, right now. So let's do this. Critters are going to start coming out uh, soon enough, and now the temperatures come down, so I'm going to have to 
try and get uh, get another one of these O2s going a lot faster here. Okay, my food supply should be fine, right? It's still making them. No, I, I stopped them, right? Okay, so I don't want those spoiling. Okay, so I think. Oof. Got one water. Three or five water. You know what? Let's pick that up. Let's just pick that up. I know, I know. Because we need to go get a drill too, so. Now that we have food and it's cooling down a bit, we need to head, we need to try and look for um, resource rocks, like this one here, yes. So that we can Get a drill and another O2. Is that copper? It is. Perfect. Oh, that's enough to make another one. So let's do that really quick. Ah, oh, I didn't quite cancel on time. Okay, so we'll, we'll get that going. And then uh, we need some more for the drill. Those are cacti. Oh, that's a resource rock. That looks like one over here. Oh, it's getting hot again. Okay, so that could be a bad time since we're way out in the middle of nowhere and it's getting hot. Uh, it's making one of those, so that's good. We could drink that. Um, darn, really? Okay, but I need that as oxygen, so we can't drink that. Let's just keep gathering rocks. It's not hitting us too bad yet. Or is that copper over there? No. Okay. Well, that was weird. <laughs> Double. And like, I. Okay. Weird. Oops. I hit it when I bump the F. Okay, I am starting to get hot though. So that's an issue. And I haven't got any more copper yet. Is that copper there? No. Nope. Iron again. And iron again. Okay, it might sure where I'm going to get the copper. I think it's in the forest, but not on this planet there ain't no forest. I guess the... Huh. Not sure now. I got to get this oxygen generator down pretty quick too. So what am I looking at for... What am I looking at for silicone? I need silicone and copper. I need one more copper and one more silicone, and then I can make a drill. Okay, so. Okay, uh, damn. One 
one more copper and one more silicone and I'm good. I'm not overheating, but I'm going to run out of oxygen. I got to put this down again. <sighs> I'll have to come back to it. I just got to put stuff in it, get it going again. Darn it. I can do that with this one too then. You know what? We do have the biofuel. Why not? Why not? We've already made it really tough on herself by not even having a drill yet, so. Okay, so. Can I potentially, what are my, what's my, my rocks at? Like, okay, so I can make one more. Okay, so I don't need much. I, I don't mean need much. I could probably just do it with, with these rocks here. Because the silicone is just over there, right? I can, I can start working on the silicone if, uh, if, hold on. If I can get a drill. Okay, that might be enough. Let's see. Let's see. There's some more rocks over there, so. Here, let's throw our constructor down here. And get this stuff in here. Can I make a drill? Yes! Make that drill. Nice. Okay, that's a huge start. I've only got three biofuel. Okay, so we're going to need more wood. Okay. How's my O2 going? Getting there. Getting there. There we go. Starting to establish a little bit here. That's good. I needed those two running. And now that we've got a drill going, we're going to be able to go drill. We'll, we'll drill out the silicone and then um, get some more bio. Oh, you know what? We got to go get biofuel. So while that's doing that, where can I go get biofuel? That isn't going to kill me. Jeez, there's a tree way over there. Okay. <laughs> so definitely a hard start to this. And I'm running out of time. Oh, is that a cactus? Maybe it's not a tree. I might not be able to do this. Is this not going to count? Oh, that sucks. Oh, maybe. Uh, no. Ah! Okay. So, no cacti. Cacti are not trees. Okay. Oh, that sucks. That really sucks. Let's, um... Let's see if there's anything up here. Anything that's all cacti? Really? Oh, is that a tree over there though? Or is that cacti? Uh, it's cacti, okay. So I need to find some orange trees. Wait, wait are these orange trees over here then? Or are these all cacti? Cacti, you're all cacti, all cacti, yeah, wow, okay, I mean, is there fiber on the ground that I can pick, doesn't look like it, well, let's, you know what, let's see what this wreckage has, while I'm here, might as well, right? It's got to have like a box to it or something, doesn't it? Is it just a troll wreckage? Is it? Yeah. Oh, no. Here we go. Oh, food. Nice. Okay. That, that was actually worth it. Those are uh, good because they don't expire for a long time. Um, wood. So, yeah, I guess we got to go down into the water and chop trees. 
but I'm gonna suffocate if I do that. You know what? You know what? Darn it. This is just frustrating. You know what? I do need the fuel. Let's just chop a tree or two. We can, we can get a couple. We can get some biofuel, right? We can do this. Let's just do this. Stop being so indecisive. Get this done. Okay, one. Damn it. <laughs> it's okay. There's more, more along the shore here. Up, coming up here, we can get. So we'll just do that. Get out of my way, bike. One more. Okay, well, it's better than nothing. Better than nothing. And we gotta head back to the oxygen things. Two. Okay, well, that, you know what? That's gonna be good enough. That'll be like about eight biofuel or something. Let's head back to the... Where did we put them? Form the silicone. Okay. Okay, so let's get back, get some oxygen, head over to the silicone deposit. I wonder if I should just take everything with me. It's probably a good idea. Now, do I need a heater cooler? Not yet. Let's get more food going before it spoils on us. Okay, you know what? Uh, let's just pick these up and move them. We're going to take them with us. Yeah. Oh, that's almost done, so we'll just let that spit it out first. Get our food back up. Nice. So, immediate disaster averted with the O2 and, oh, that was stupid. Let's try that again. Okay, uh, immediate disaster averted with the O2 and food. So, let's keep going. We're gonna head over to the silicone first. Since it's just like right here. Yeah, I know, it wasn't much of a journey, but let's get this down. We're going to get biofuel going with that, and then we're going to get both the um, both of these going. And we'll put one biofuel in each. Okay. And now we've got one biofuel left for drilling. So let's do it. And there should be biofuel made pretty quick here. So once we run out, we should be able to replenish soon enough. So there we go. We're finally drilling for resources a day and a half in because we decided to do the Robson Protocol. Uh, that was definitely, definitely the slow way of starting. And I made it extra hard on myself. So we'll see if we can actually do this now. This is really, the time is gonna be tight. I'm gonna have critters spawning. Uh, that really sucks. So we gotta get as much of this dug up as we can.
go. Okay. Well, I'm not going to bore you guys with drilling. Um, I am going to cut to commercial and, well, just kidding. I'm just going to, um, I'm going to mine this for a bit and then, okay, I'm back. Uh, so I went over to, I finished mining what I wanted out of that silicone for starters and I came over to the iron. We had to come into the radiated biome to do it. You can see the temperature is counting down. Or, or I should say the temperature is staying steady, but the radiation counting up, and you can see we, we hit 0.7. Uh, now I'm gonna, and you can see our time is actually getting critical. We're at one and a half. I'm gonna eat one thing to see if our our radiation drops. And yes, it does. So it's still consistent that way. That's good. We'll take a couple more of these oxygen here. And what are we at? Uh, not enough, not enough. A little bit more, we just need a little bit more and then we got to race over to the copper. So I figured that I wanted to show you the last couple minutes here um, because this is actually now again starting to become a critical moment in the game if I'm going to be able to establish myself or not. And well, I unlocked level three by, by mining, so that's good. And okay, so what are we at? We are 120, that's good. Let's get out of here. We're gonna just grab this. Grab what was in there. Do the same thing to this. Grab what was in there. Do the same thing to this. Although that can bug out sometimes. Let's just grab it. Oh, I didn't start it. Oh, that's okay. We do have biofuel left. That was that was not good. Okay. Oh, you know what? Well, I'm here. Well, I'm here. Well, I'm here, right? Right? Yeah. Okay, so we got to get out of here. We got to head over to the copper. We should be able to throw the bike down and just race over there now. Get out of here before any critters spawn. And before it's, uh, it was starting to get too hot there too. Did you see that? Okay, so we're just gonna bypass the nuggets. We're gonna come straight out here and start drilling. And it got hot again, so we're gonna have some problems here. Oh, it got cool! Woo! Nice. Okay, let's pick that up. We're gonna throw again. The routine is we throw down our two oxygen, <clears throat> get them going with a biofuel. And you notice I picked up some more logs. Some of the some of those trees are actually high yield and pretty easy to chop down so I got a couple of them I got eight each off off them so let's um, get the biofuel in here and we'll get our survival constructor down and we'll put the get the actual biofuel going this time okay uh, how are we doing on oxygen right now let's grab a little bit and we've got a bunch of water okay How's our survival constructor doing? We can turn some of this water into oxygen. So let's do that. Okay. <clears throat> let's drill. We have a few minutes, or well, hardly any time left. So we're, we're likely to get ganked by a creature while we do this. I hope not. Come on. Oops, I got it on rock mode. Come on. If I can just get enough to spawn my HV. Just enough to spawn my HV. 
Right, I can go spawn that out in the middle of the lake. I should be able to. Without a pad. <clears throat> As the time counts down and the drill is hardly doing anything. <laughs> Nervous times. Come on, it's so slow. We've gotten to the copper. See if we die. If I get attacked, I'm gonna be in trouble. I gotta jump on my bike and just race to the uh, race to the water, I guess. And oh, but then I'm screwed. I got all my constructors down. Oof. Well, I guess we're gonna have to take a gamble, right? Or I jump down the hole, and I don't know what that would solve die, because I don't have enough biofuel to dig myself out. How are we doing? We've got... Where are... We? I can't see it. Brain dead. 25. No. That ain't gonna cut it. Okay, so now the next day is broken. It's gonna start getting warm. Uh, we did actually learn, or we did raise a level, so let's go ahead and learn the heater cooler. And we could go ahead and make that. So let's, let's go ahead and make that. I know it eats up some of our resources, but I think we're going to need it. Okay, let's keep digging as much copper as we can here. As the sun comes up, the heat's going to stay up. It already, see that? The heat is already... We throw down that heater cooler once it's done. And that'll protect us for quite a while until it gets into insane temperatures. And then by that time, we should have enough resources that um, we'll be hiding out in the water or something anyway, so should be a moot point. I know this is a little boring watching me dig, it's just that this is this is potentially where I die, so I think I really need to showcase this. <laughs> Because this is actually a very critical point right now when stuff potentially starts spawning. How are we doing here? We've got. Oh, I just changed. It has to do it again, doesn't it? Yeah. A little bit more of the copper. Okay, and the temperatures start, our body temperatures starting to raise here. Okay, what are we at? 137, good enough. Let's quit that. And get to the water. So, take that, take that, and we'll just pick it up. We'll wait, how much, uh, 20, actually, we'll let that finish. It's so close, we'll let that finish. And that one too. There we go. Okay, we're doing fine on O2 now, so 
Excellent. Let that finish. I don't see any critters around here. Okay. Temperature's going up though. Okay, so let's grab this. Let's grab this. Come on. So we've got uh, ten logs and a. Okay, so we'll have to we'll have to get some more wood. Obviously, well, I mean, we need everything, but. Okay. Pick that up. Um, we should be good enough to just head over to the water then. So let's just do that. We'll just book her over to the water. Because there's lots of food in the water. We don't. We don't have to worry about starving when we're in the water. And there should be enough wood along the edges here to keep us in biofuel, so... Yeah. Yeah, I think we'll be good. I think we'll be good. Now, what we can do is we can go way down deep into the middle where all the stuff spawns. It's probably not a bad idea. Uh, let's get some of this while we while we're up here though let's get some of this while we're up here is it gonna let me yes two that's okay better than none I don't think this works. On, no, cannot do it underwater. Okay, so that means we can only get ones along the shore. That's okay. That's okay. I think we'll be able to get enough here. We did grab a tiny little chunk of Prometheum too, so uh, we can get like a water generator going and and um, and do that, which we will need to do. Okay. Just staying close to the water here. You can see the temperature. Okay, what are we out on wood now? 17. Let's get this one over here and we'll and we'll head down into the water. Let's start crafting stuff. Now, I have no idea if the patrol vessel comes out this way. We're really close to the starter biome, so I'd be surprised if the patrol vessel came over the starter biome. That'd be kind of funny, though. Okay, let's, uh, you know what, let's, let's put our flashlight on, because underwater the flashlight works a lot better. You can see there it it works really good underwater. Really good. Okay. Well, I'm getting some funky glare. Just want to get down to, you know, where a good patch of seaweed starts, you know. Maybe some rocks around here. That's good enough. Yeah. Okay, so there's lots of seaweed around. Let's just throw our stuff down here. Get that down. 
get these down. And we also have our new portable heater. We can throw that down for light. It's not going to help us so much in the water right now because the temperature is fine, but it throws off light too, and it doesn't need power. So that's pretty cool. And then this we will um, do we do the biofuel or do we do all the ingots first? Let's do the ingots and get the HV cooking. Yeah. So like that because we've got 13 biofuel. We can get these things going put a couple in because I think we're, we're gonna be at this spot for a bit okay and we've got we've got lots of seaweed around we're not gonna starve we've got lots of O2 we're not gonna suffocate we've got lots of fuel uh, so we're not we're we're actually in good shape we weathered the storm of the first day. We came out with, we should have enough resources. Um, yeah. Yep, I'll have enough for the HV plus make some stuff on it. So that's good. I'm only third level, but that's okay. I can go uh, level up once I have the HV. That's not a problem. All I really needed was level three, and I achieved that. Um, and once I start picking seaweed here, I'm gonna definitely have an easier time. I'll, I'll hit level four probably pretty quick here. I'm gonna go around and pick a bunch of seaweed right now. Well, guys, um, we did it. We got a good. I think we're. I think we succeeded in the four criteria, and the four criteria for a good start is. Establish your food and oxygen as soon as possible if you are on a hazardous planet. Check, we've got that. We've got, we're surrounded by food and we've got our oxygen going here and we're not suffocating. Uh, get enough resources before all the creatures spawn. Check, we ended up getting enough resources for our HV and the third thing is make third level. Yes, we made third level. Uh, and the fourth thing is find a safe spot to set up camp. And I think underwater is usually pretty safe. So there you have it. Um, next episode, we should have an HV ready to go spawn in and do some exploring on this uh this arid planet. So until then, guys, you have an awesome, awesome day.